I'm here with singer Mikey Wax, whose music you have heard on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. His new song is one of the promos for I Am Kate. Why don't you talk a little bit about when you decided you wanted to do this professionally and, you know, go from there. Yeah. Hello. Right. Hello. Uh, this is Mikey Wax. Hello. Everybody. I, um, I got started professionally about five years ago now. Mm -hmm. uh, I was, um, I just graduated college and I was, uh, looking to get my songs out there, so I uh, made a music video for one of them and it ended up getting featured on the homepage of YouTube. And pretty much overnight had like half a million hits, which kind of like got me started professionally. But in terms of playing music, I mean, I've been writing songs since I was eight or nine years old. So uh, I kind of always knew I was like the music guy, like in the classroom, I was always the only one that could play piano or like write songs and stuff like that. So I knew it was kind of like my outlet, my avenue, but um, I didn't really get started professionally until I was like 20. Four or so. So uh, I went to college in Vander at Na Vanderbilt in Nashville. I wrote like albums worth of material, which I will hopefully use all of them at one point. Uh, I released an album at the uh, end of 2008, and then uh, and then yeah, started touring after that. So that's kind of the birth of my career. And what was it like touring um, so quickly after you put out your first album? Yeah, I. Um, so basically, I uh, I got this feature on YouTube, right? And uh, all these people started commenting, commenting how they wanted shows and stuff like that. So I uh, I didn't have an agent or anything. It was just me and my manager, my brother. We were living home at the time, and uh, we really desperately wanted to get out of the house. So I put the word out to all my fans that uh, I would come play in their living room if they wanted a show and they could get 20 or 25 people together. So um, and you know covered the gas costs or whatever. 50, 60 bucks, and we ended up doing that uh, across the country. We did like 200 shows in uh, two years. So uh, pretty much yeah, two different summers. We did them during the summer. So we did like 50 or, or 100 shows or something like that a summer. That's crazy. It was pretty intense. So a lot of traveling, a lot of touring, and uh, that was really how I got my start. And those house concert fans kind of were like the basis, the foundation kind of for what we built uh, since then. And they've been the most like loyal, supportive fans. They come out to every show. Mm -hmm. They're like, you remember when you played at my house? And they're always like the most awesome supportive fans. So yeah. that's fantastic. And for them, it's got to be exciting to see the success that you're having now. And oh the yeah, exposure I, that you're those are now. the ones that still like comment on my Facebook page. I see they're like, you know, you've grown so much since you played at my house in my living room like a few years ago. So they've really been the ones that kind of like spread the word. And when I released my last record, we did kind of like a special like for like the what's the word that the super fans mm -hmm. special. And um, the fans from the house concert were really the ones that did the bulk things where like they would buy 10 CDs ahead of time and they would give them out to their friends and family and really spread the word and kind of get the album started. So um, yeah, they're, they're, it's been amazing. Very start. cool. Yeah. And now how many albums have you released? You're on your third album. I released a, uh, three full lengths and um, I think uh, three EPs. But um, I'd say uh, the full lengths kind of well, I did one Christmas EP, which, mm -hmm. like, you know, is its own thing. You know, like, if there's a, if all the CDs kind of fit over here, the Christmas EP's somewhere over here. It's, it's, yeah. I love it. It's great, but it's just, you know, a different thing. But I'd say, uh, yeah, the three albums kind of sum up who I am as an artist. Yeah. And now your latest one is a self titled album. Self titled. Very original, very clever. Mikey Wax. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, self titled. I released it uh, last June. And uh, it's kind of been like a slow growth, you know, it, it really started with our, you know, super fans and everything like that. And it's mm -hmm. kind of slowly been spreading the word. I, you know, it's the first time I've released an album on a label. So um, it's, it's a new process in terms of taking songs to radio and promotion and marketing and stuff like that. So, you know, at the, uh, at the end of the day, I'm just lucky to have fans that support me. What was it like uh, finding out? I feel like once in a while I need to make like a funny face with the camera. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's not distracting at all for the interview. <laughs> now, what was it like to find out that your song was going to be run in the promo for the show? Which show? Keeping Up the Kardashians. The Kardashian show. Um, I'm trying to remember because that happened a while ago now, but... Oh, okay, I do remember. So, um, it was between me and a couple other songs. They'd given me the notice that it was like, in, you know, it was contending for the spot. And we got it, and that was like... So cool because the new record really hadn't had like a, a big placement like that to get the word out. So when we got that, it was really 
exciting to let people know and fans of the show. Like, you know, we always get comments being like, I heard your song on the Kardashians promo and stuff like that. So it's a great way to spread the word about the song and kind of, you know, build some momentum. Right. So, yeah. And now your latest song is being used on I Am Kate. Yeah. Um, it's a groundbreaking song, number one, and it's on a groundbreaking show. So that exposure, you know, is going to be huge for you. Yeah. What is that feeling like? That was so cool because that happened pretty much out of nowhere. So like, you know, uh, I wanted to, I recorded the song originally inspired by the Supreme Court ruling that legalized gay marriage nationwide. And um, so I went, you know, I wrote the song and uh, I knew I wanted to get it out there right away just while the topic was hot and it could relate to people and resonate. You know, if it came out five years from now, it wouldn't be as impactful if it came out right when the, you know, the ruling was done. So uh, I rushed into the studio over July 4th weekend. I recorded it. Um, and then I, on like a Sunday or that Monday or something, I sent it to my manager. He loved it. And he sent it right to our contact who was doing the music placements for, uh, for I Am Kate. And it was his idea to be like, you know, lyrically it kind of works just to be yourself regardless mm -hmm. of, you know, you know, gen, you know, gender or sexual preference or race mm -hmm. or ethnicity or whatever. It kind of just says to be who you truly are. So it ended up working perfectly for the show. Within like an hour or two, we heard back that they were going to use it, which is never happens that fast. It's fantastic. Yeah, so that was awesome. So what's next for you? What is next? I'm in a, a bit of a writing phase right now, which is great because you never know when they're going to come. And then they come and you write like 10 songs that I know where you're like, all right, there's right. an album right there. So uh, I'm in that moment right now, just writing a ton of music and writing a lot of lyrics and uh, melodies and hopefully going to bang out another one of these sometime soon. Sounds good. So, uh, yeah, and uh, I've been kind of, um, I toured a bunch all spring and summer, so this is kind of like a nice time to just, when the weather changes, get inspired by that, and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I'll, do, I'll be doing some shows still, like, through a platform called Stage It, which, you know, you perform online for your fans, and anywhere across the world can see it, but mm -hmm. it gives you the luxury of not having to go on the road, and right. I love performing, and, you know, that's, like, one of my favorite things to do, so it's not the luxury of not doing that, but it's not the whole chaos it, absolutely that comes with the territory of touring so uh i've been i'll be staying in touch with my fans that way and through social media but in the meantime i'm going to be doing uh having some mikey time and, and doing some writing so, so, that yeah. sounds like a plan after yeah. a busy yeah. spring and summer what what do you find the most challenging uh about what you do is the writing do you get nerves performing are you just cool all around <laughs> uh so the question is what are the most difficult yeah what do, what do you find the most challenging um hmm it's interesting because when I'm on the road and I'm touring and I'm in the thick of it, it's the best job in the world. You're like, I get to play a show, people are coming out, and there's nothing better than meeting fans after a show, having a good show. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'll never write again. It's never going to happen. I don't know when I'm going to write another song. And then, so writing seems like the most difficult thing. And then you get in the writing phase and you're like, this is so easy. I love writing songs. I'm, I'm crushing out melodies and lyrics. The thought of touring and getting on stage and performing it really seems so difficult. I don't know how to do that anymore. So I think when you're in each one, they, I think they both come naturally to me. But like it's you know you get better when you're doing each one. So, right, um, right. But I'd say at the start, performing for me was like a nerve-wracking thing, and it's kind of something I just only got better and better at. You know, the more you do, it's kind of like you know any profession that anyone does. You know, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get. And, you know, the, in your own skin, the the more you learn how to. To work it, so mm -hmm. you know, working a crowd and and performing is definitely. And I'm still learning. I, you know, this past tour, I learned something new that I that I hadn't done before. So I think it's always a growing process. Same with writing. I'm learning how to come up with new melodies and, and ideas that I never would have done in previous songs. So sounds yeah. good. Well, I'm sure your fans are anxiously awaiting your your next album, but loving the one you have out now. Oh, thank you. Hopefully. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. Thank you for the interview.